Show, starring Tommy Horrocks and featuring the best in local and regional musical talent. And now your host, Tommy Horrocks. Hi, folks, and welcome. Well, our first guest, I'm going to start off with a little quiz for anybody who's into graffiti, musical graffiti in the Thunder Bay area. Our first guests played in a group called The Thorns. That was at the same time that Paul Schaefer had a group called The Fugitives, and I was in Donnie B. and the Bonvilles. Have you guessed them yet? Okay, you haven't guessed them yet. Uh, later on, they played in the Dominion Room, the D Room it was called, of the Royal Edward Hotel. They were in a group called Black Lightning. Does that help? Not yet, eh? They're brothers? Been very popular, okay? In the more recent days, they've played at the Niebing Hotel and very popular doing one-nighters around the area, and especially at the Niebing Hotel. I'm talking about the Zeleny Brothers. The group's name is the Zebras, and here they are with their cousin Bill to do a number that was done by the Ventures called Surf Rider. <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is Tom Horks with a song by Richie Valens. And so this song called La Bamba.
Hey, how about that? That Bob Gunny's one cool dude sometimes, isn't he, eh? Anyway, and uh, Phil Aylward, his dog, Riva, really made the number. I mean, you could see how much the dog was moved by the music. And we'd like to thank Max Grant from Grand's Auto Sales for uh, the loan of his 1939, is it, Danny? Gee whiz, I'm going to get this right. 1927? Okay, keep going. Model A. Model A. Thank you very much, Max. Beautiful car. It just it made the mood for us all. Enjoyed doing that number. Well, speaking of enjoying doing numbers, when I first got the opportunity of uh, having a television show, I told my wife, and she said, well, you're not going to get me on there, because she's very shy, and uh, um, I had to talk to her and talk to her. In fact, I used every method I could to try to figure out how to get her on the show, and we have managed to have her on the show, as you know. She's going to do another number that was done by the Judds, this is a beautiful tune, a number called Why Not Me, Roseanne Horrocks. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on the show. Well, talent shows. We've got Mr. Harold Keefe, who is the winner of many, many talent shows, and he now has his own band playing professionally. He's been playing around Thunder Bay and all out west. He's going to do a number for you that was originally done by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Are you ready for it? Number called Green River. Here we go.
Tony Horrocks and his guests will be right back. That was compliments of uh, Dino Michelli and the Sleeping Giant for uh, Harold Keith and Tribute. Uh, well, we have another talent show winner. Her name is Sandy Hay. And incidentally, with the talent shows, I would like to remind you folks again, if you know anybody out there who's a, a country singer and you believe that they would have a chance, that they have talent, you can see all the talent there is in the Thunder Bay area. You know, in all these shows, there's only been one act that wasn't from the Thunder Bay area. Anyway, the winner of the Northern Ontario 580 CKPR Talent Star Search uh, will go to Toronto, all expenses paid, and they are up for grabs for a $10,000 prize. So that's pretty serious money. Could help somebody in a recording career. Anyway, Sandy is one of the contenders. She's not doing a country tune for us, though. She's going to do a number that's a pop number. It's a number called Let's Hear It for the Boys. Sandy Hay. Really nice. Well, folks, the show is almost over, and we've only got a few minutes, and I'd like to uh, thank Danny and Karen and Steve and Fred and all the staff here. Uh, credit to Mr. Gordy Respick for letting Norm uh, uh, have some time off. And here's Chris Walsh from Frostback to do a number for you called Cold Shot. <laughs>